Hi everyone, welcome to this week's What and Webflow episode 16 and this week we're going to learn how to create the clip text effect right within your Webflow project. Let's jump into it. All right, before we jump into our project, I wanted to give you a little backstory on why this tutorial came about. So uh, on March 14th, I provided a callable project that created this exact uh, effect that we're going to learn today. So as you can see in this callable project, the text is uh, completely editable. This isn't an image, but the, the text actually clips the background image so that it has a transparent text but you can see to the background image itself. So that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So what we're going to create is this exact. Now let's jump into our Webflow project. So we're in our project and what we're going to now do is just create the structure of our project. So I'm going to add in a section, give the section a name. We'll name it C section. I want this section to have a hundred viewport width and a hundred viewport height with display setting of flex and the vertical to align center and justify center. Next, we're going to add in our text. So we're going to grab a heading element. I can spell it. Let's go. Now let's give our heading a class name. We'll name it C section underscore underscore heading. Now we'll change up the font family to open sans and make it extra bold with a font size of let's say 20 B max. Let's see how that resizes. I like that. And a line height of 1.2, maybe. Maybe 0.8. There we go. And we want this text to be centered. We make this a little larger, let's say 24. Maybe 26. There we go. In your face. Awesome, so now we have our text. The next thing we're going to do is add the background image to our text. So we're still here on our text. Let's scroll down to our image and gradient setting. We're going to choose our background. I've already added this background into our project. We're going to have a cover setting and center it. Awesome, now let's take a look at what our project looks like now. Okay, so you see that we have our background. Now we're going to add in a little custom code so that we can clip this text and have the background show through the clip text. So we're going to go into our page settings by clicking on the cog, going to custom code, and inside the head tag, we're going to add in our custom code. So as you can see, the custom code is the class name of the text, which is C-section underscore underscore heading or whatever you name of this text that you want to clip. And then we have a background clip for the text and then the text field color of transparent. So we save that, publish our project, refresh, and there it is. Pretty cool. Now let's have a proper goodbye. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So this week we learned how to add the custom code into your Webflow project to create the clip text effect that you can add to any project that you like. Hopefully this was helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See y'all next week.